approach the throne of grace. I came to God on my own accord. Didn't nobody hold no shotgun up to my head and make me obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. I was in a state of my own when I knew I needed somebody who could help me get out of what I had gotten myself in. I knew I needed somebody to help me make something right that was wrong in my life. And I had heard about this man named Jesus. I heard that he had opened blinded eyes. I heard that deaf people were able to hear birds sang in the atmosphere. I heard that lame folk were able to get up off their beds and walk. I heard that dead folk were raised back to life. I heard that folk that were demon possessed had demons cast out of them. And when Jesus got a hope to them, they were sitting out clothed and in their right minds. I heard about this man named Jesus who went on to Calvary one day and laid down on an old rugged cross. I heard that they put nails in his hands and they put nails in his feet. I heard that they hung him high and they stretched him wide. I heard that he hung between the twilights of two worlds, pulling the BC and the AB together. I heard that he said it is finished. He bowed his head and he gave up the ghost. And then they took his body down off that cross and laid it in a rich man's tomb. Him, Joseph of Amathia, had gone to the folk and begged for the body of Jesus. After they had wrapped him in some clean linen, they laid him in Joseph's brand new tomb. He wasn't going to need it for long. And so they put a seal. They put a seal upon the tomb because some of the soldiers had gone to the chief priests and Pharisees and they said that Jesus was a deceiver. And that deceiver said while he was still living that after three days he was going to get up from the grave and so the Pharisees said well just go and make the supplica as sure as you can set some guards right in front of the tomb and make sure you set a watch I want you watching 24 hours just stay there in the graveyard and look at this stone for 24 hours around the clock but the Bible says that he stayed there all that Friday night. He stayed there all day and all night Saturday. But early on Sunday morning, as the dawn was just laying itself on the dew on the grass, before the birds could wake up and before the crow could call to the dew. On Sunday morning, Jesus got up from the grave with all power in his hands. And when they came looking for him, there was an angel perched on top of the same stone. And he asked the women, why are you seeking the living amongst the dead? The Gentiles may have killed him. The Jews may have crucified him. But God got him up. Don't you worry about what they say. Don't you worry about their plots and schemes. Because I serve a God who even if he got to get you out of the grave, he knows that's when you come. He knows how to get you out of there at just the right time. And when your time has come, look from the grave you rise.
until God says I'm going. It didn't matter what power I said. Don't you know I got the power mm -hmm. to release you or to crucify you? But one time Jesus did talk to him. Yeah. You wouldn't have no power at all. <laughs> if God didn't give it to you. That's right. Oh, that's right. I'm here bragging about what kind of power. You ain't got no power. Amen. God got all the power. Yes, God. Right. <laughs> they better be careful. Yes. All right. Playing with God's power. Amen. You know, life is their own power. Yeah. Yes, my Lord. Because see, I am one of these individuals that believe Romans 15, 4. Mm -hmm. The things that were written aforetime yeah. were written for our learning. Uh -huh. And what I learned in chapter 4 of Daniel, we're never to mess. Got the big heat. He looked at his kingdom uh -huh. because in chapter 2 when Daniel prophesied, yeah. he was that head of gold. He was the one who was on top. God put him up there. Yes, he did. And see, when men don't acknowledge God as being the reason why they are where they are, yes. Solomon said it right. Pride goeth before oh. destruction. Yes, and a holy spirit yes. before a fall. Nebuchadnezzar stepped out on his back one day. Hmm. Come on now. Oh, pumped his chest up in the air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No doubt rubbed that long curly hair he had and uh -huh. just looked around to me how great he was. Oh, yeah. Look at my kingdom. <laughs> Look at what all I possess and what I've done. Uh -huh. God called him a fool. Mm -hmm. Bent him over. Mm -hmm. Out in the field. Mm -hmm. Like an animal. Mm -hmm. Allowed his hair mm -hmm. to grow to oh, such a degree. Oh, yeah. He looked like a beast of the earth. Fingernails got so long mm -hmm. that they looked like a wild bird's claw. Mm -hmm. And he ate grass like an ox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for folk who say that that's just a metaphor, that's just some allegory in the Bible, mm -hmm. study Babylonian history. Right. Yeah. There is a period of time yeah. where the records are bad. There's a period of time where there's no account where Nebuchadnezzar was or what he was doing. We know what he was doing. He bowed over in the field, eating grass like an ox. Because he didn't have sense enough to realize that he didn't have no power except the power that God let him have. And see, that's the reason as children of God, all we got to do is pray. Right now. All we got to do is pray. Yes, yes. Paul instructed us to do that through, in 2 yes. Timothy. Mm -hmm. He said, we need to pray mm -hmm. for all that are in authority. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. <laughs> That's what he said. Yes. For kings, governors, mm -hmm. and so forth. Yes, Lord. So we can lead a quiet and peaceable life. Okay. With all godliness and honesty. Mm -hmm. He said, when you pray for that's good and acceptable in the same Amen. Mm -hmm. Just got to pray for him. Pray for him. Ask God yes, to let his will be done right. Right. on earth as it is mm -hmm. in heaven. And when God's will is done, all disorder will come together in order. That's right. Amen. Confusion yeah. will yeah. turn into peace. Amen. Amen. When God starts moving, he'll bend them over like a ox. <laughs> like a wild animal in the field. Oh, yeah. They'll be so far down. They'll be glad when God let them look up again. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. so, but it ain't for us mm -hmm. to put our hands on them. That's right. Let them talk. Let them scandalize. Let them lie. Because they're going to do that. Amen. Folk gonna do what folk gonna do. That's true. Uh -huh. That's true. You can't change what folk gonna do. That's true. You can't change how folk fail. That's true. Because some of them have reprobate minds. Yeah. Come on. You can't change a reprobate mind. Just read the Bible called reprobate. Mm -hmm. You can't change it. Mm -hmm. 
Reprobate status meaning.